Hello my friends, Lenny with Vintage Nationals on the web at nationalguitar.com. Well I'm here on a cold, wet, and rainy day here in Southern California, which is actually a good thing. And I'm here with this beautiful early Duolian I'd like to share with you. This is a 1931 Duolian. As you can see, it still has the dark green. If you look at the early catalogs, you'll see this advertises dark walnut, the color. But the earliest Duolians had this very dark green outer color. And then, as you can see on the back, it had a very lighter colored olivey burst going on it with smaller duco. Now, the duco crystals on the dark are big, thick crystals. And I'm not sure if you can see in the camera we do have photos of this and then the crystals in the lighter color are actually much smaller crystals so it's very interesting how this early duco and it was super thin finish too you can see there's there's wear on this guitar but it's actually not so much plain wear as the finish just slowly deteriorating over 80 years you know so it's it was on there really thin you could tell in subsequent ducos that the finish was on there uh, thicker it definitely was a thicker and more durable than this early fragile beautiful dark walnut. Now this is a very early one. This has a new ebony fingerboard on it from National Resophonic. This was actually uh, reset and put together by Mark Schoenberger. It's an amazing example. It sounds fantastic. It's got the original tuners on it. Mahogany neck. Reset straight original cone and this is just a fantastic and it's very light. Let's weigh this thing real quick I like to give you an idea how light these early duolians were another thing that's interesting is even though this is early With this color scheme uh, the serial number had already gotten up to uh, Over 4,000 in 31 so that tells me since they made a total of somewhere around 10,000 duolians they were really spitting these out early on. They had already made 4,000 in the first couple of years of making these things, over 4,000. So uh, this was obviously something they really mass produced. But uh, let's get this thing weighed and get an idea how this, how light this thing is compared to some of the uh, later models. I'm sure you guys at home are asking, hey, that's a cool looking shirt, Len. It's got vintage nationals on the front. It's got a black. What shirt is that? Well, of course, hula girl. I'm wearing the hula girl. Just so you can see, Hula Girl now available, all sizes, men's and women's. Women's have the V-neck on them. Anyway, I have my trusty Rapala Digital Fish Scale, which works great for weighing guitars. Okay, this is weighing it at seven pounds even. And if we compare that, let's say to a new Triolian, with the thinner sheet metal on it and we get seven pounds six ounces well, let's play this thing One last taste of this Duolian at nationalguitar.com.